Hello everyone, Independent Quarter here and today I have a very interesting look and that is the Medeco Biaxial Cam Lock. <coughs> it's a 5-pinner and it only has uh, key pins and sidebar, they interact with the sidebar. But like any Medeco Lock, you not only need to lift them, but you also need to rotate them. That's the reason why that uh, chamber is looks kind of strange. There is a cutout here, which actually corresponds to a part of the pin. As you can see, the pins are the pins are chiseled, chisel tipped, and they have one true gate, which is one hole, cylindrical hole. And on the back they have these little teeth that actually when you put it in the chamber these teeth keep it from over rotating. And as you can see right now the pin is in neutral position and there are three positions in a medical pin which is you pull it, that's 20 degrees to one side, and you push it, that's like that, 20 degrees to the other side. And uh, this cutout actually keeps the, key, the pin from over rotating, which could cause the key to not work. Another thing to notice, let's take a look at the sidebar. When it's compressed and allows the core to rotate, this teeth of the sidebar need to go inside of the true gate of the key pins. So that's what's binding against your key pin when you apply tension. The sidebar is trying to be pushed inside, but the key pins <coughs> are blocking him from going inside. So my job and your job is to rotate and push the key pin in a way that you align the true gate, which is this with the sidebar uh, teeth and we have some anti-peak features um, uh, not only that you need to rotate the pin but actually there are serrations which act as false gates and since the king pin starts at the bottom you need to go through in this pin you need to go through one serration and then you go to the true gate in this you go straight to the true gate in this you need to go through one serration and then into the true gate. In this you need to go through two, ser through two serrations and then the third one has the true gate. And this one is the same as the previous one. So we have uh, two high lifts, two medium lifts and one very low lift, almost no lift. And another thing, it's um, this medical is called biaxial for a reason that I'm going to explain. As you can see, these two pins, the first two ones, uh, we'll take a look at them. You see the true gate is here and this one is angled like this. On this one, the true gate is here and is angled like this. This means uh, in the key uh, in the key way, the pins could be on this angled on this side or on this side. And um, Combinating that with the three possible rotations, which are neutral, like this, 20 degrees to the left and 20 degrees to the right. So these are 3 times 2 equals 6 possible combinations of pin rotations, as well as the different heights. This makes a lot of different pinning combinations for this walk. Sadly, I do not have um, the key for this. But I was still able to pick it and I just want to show you one of the pins close up. See how it's chiseled. So the way <coughs> you pick this walk, uh, let's uh, finish just looking at the core. There is some drill protection here as well to protect the sidebar. Uh, I'm not sure how you remove it. Keyway, kind of open and nothing too special uh, there was script bible cover which i removed to be able to get it 
And also this work doesn't have a body, so it has a 3D printed one which just has one sidebar groove and a cap to screw to the back to hold it as a C-clip. Okay, so how to pick this lock? Uh, I apply tension with this bar like here and I'm going to use this Jimmy hook. It's round tipped and uh, the reason I chose this hook specifically is because of uh, the angle it has. Uh, this beating allows me to be able to set the low lifts almost without lifting them. Uh, so I will be focusing first on rotating all of the pins to their correct orientation. And when I think uh, they're in uh, the correct orientation, I will lift them to set them. How I detect the pins, I apply tension, which I'm going to simulate here with pushing the sidebar. And I just go under the pins and feel which one is binding. And so the ones that are not binding, as you can see, you can lift them. They will have no resistance. So pin, the last pin is binding and I just rotated it and it's set. And I'm not sure if you can hear. That's the noise of a set pin. So I start rotating them. And that way, when they're all uh, properly rotated, I can lift them. And it's just like a regular walk, um, you find the binding pin and you try to lift it to shear. Just here you not only lift it but also push or pull on it. And <coughs> I will try to show you right now uh, how it looks from, from above. I will hold up these two last pins. And I hope you are able to see the tips of the pins. You see? You pull on them or push on them. And this way you can rotate. And yeah, I will use the kind of heavy tension and when I find which pin is binding because when it binds it really cannot move anywhere I start rotating it and pulsing the tension slightly so that way I'm able to freely rotate it and when it's uh, set it starts giving click 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 noise so yeah these are my advice for picking the medical biaxial cam walk and yeah, for a 5 pin walk it's actually pretty challenging, I had to progressive pin it and spend like around 3 hours on learning this walk. So yeah, that's that. Let's get into picking. Ok, Medeco Biaxial Gum Walk <coughs> is in the vice. Now I'm going to use a rake since I do not have a key to make sure the Key pins are randomly rotated. Okay, I think that's good enough. Top of the QA tension and Jimmy Wong's hook. Heavy tension and listening for the Clicky. Clicking of the pins. I'm just randomly rotating them.
open. Very nice. That is actually my first medical lock that I've ever picked. So, lock it back up. So this one has a 3D printed housing mm. and as you can see all there is to it is that there is one sidebar groove and just where to retain the body. These uh, screws on the back to hold it as a C-clip and as you can see there is the sidebar, it's held in place. <clears throat> And we have a crimped Bible cover which I removed. And now let's quickly get it. Take a look at the pins. It's uh, sad that I do not have a key for this lock, but I'm actually happy that I got it open. <clears throat> Let's take a look at the core. As you can see, it has some unusual shape and the reason is uh, this channel is for... If you take a look at the pin, this peg or protrusion on this side keeps it from over -tating. And yeah, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see where they are. Ah, perfect. So these are the holes and as you can see when the sidebar is depressed, uh, they are metal teeth that go inside of the pin in this little hole. So you need to not only lift it, and as you can see there are serrations, they act as false gates, but also rotate it so that the metal teeth of the sidebar can go inside of the keeping. Here is exactly how it works, yeah. And yeah, the pins have... Um, uh, different um, combinations because this one is called biaxial and the reason is uh, let's take a look at first of the two pins as you can see one uh, is angled to this side the other is angled to this side but they both have um, the hole on the front so there are six possible combinations of uh, rotation of the pin so, uh, neutral, uh, 20 degrees front end, 20 degrees back, times 2, because there are two types of pins. That means 6 combinations, excluding the different heights in which uh, the pins could be set. As you can see, uh, these two are high lifts, and you need to go through one, two serrations, and on the third serration, there is the true gate. These uh, ones are lower lifts, this one you have to go only through one serration, as you can see, and yeah, for a 5 pin walk that has only key pins, this walk is surprisingly hard, I had to progressive pin it, uh, to learn it, and this video actually took me like uh, 4 attempts to film, mm, the first two ones, first uh, Three ones actually took me way too much time and the uh, fourth attempt I just was too tired so yeah let me quickly load up some pins so I can show you exactly how picking affects the walk so I will apply tension with my finger and as you can see moving my pick I can rotate the pins and when they're pushed 
the correct height and in the correct orientation the sidebar is able to retract inside of them so yeah that's uh, medical by axial come walk picked and got it I'm going to do close up now here are all the pins and yeah hope you enjoyed have a nice day and bye bye